Hello and welcome to Lot 49. Today I will be talking about the recent draft majority opinion, released by the U.S. Supreme Court striking down Roe v. Wade. I will also talk about its background and implications. The Roe v. Wade lawsuit began in 1969, when a woman using the pseudonym Jane Roe sued Henry Wade, her local district attorney, in order to get an abortion. The case dragged on for several years, until in 1973 the Supreme Court ruled in her favor. The majority opinion, at that time, found that a woman had an absolute right to an abortion during the first trimester of their pregnancy. However, according to an initial draft majority opinion, written by Justice Samuel Alito, the Supreme Court has voted to strike down the Roe v. Wade decision. In the opinion he personally states that, it is time to heed the Constitution and return the issue of abortion to the people's elected representatives. A source close to the court has indicated that four other Republican-appointed justices, Clarence Thomas, Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh and Amy Coney Barrett, had voted with Alito on the issue. The same source indicates that the three Democrat-appointed justices, Elena Keegan, Sonia Sotomayor and Stephen Breyer, are working on a dissent to the case. Quite how Chief Justice John Robert will vote is unclear, but with five of the nine justices having already voted to strike it down, his vote cannot block that majority. The released document outlines the legal arguments and conclusions about an issue, which have been agreed upon by at least half of the Supreme Court's members. However it is still just a draft and the court's ruling will not be final until the final version is published around late June or early July. In the meantime politicking among the justices could cause a change in the outcome. Interestingly, in recent times this is the only draft majority opinion to have been released publicly during a case. Assuming the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, abortions will probably be banned in many red states, once relevant bills have gone through their legislatures. This will mean that women seeking an abortion in these states will either have to go to Democrat ones, or seek a black market alternative in their own. Well that's it for this video. Links to the sources used can be found down in the description. Thank you for watching. As with all YouTube channels feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time have a good day.